come in. I have a problem. Oh? The next patient. I need to excuse myself from the session. Why? I don't think I can objectively evaluate. Has he been threatening? No. Rude? No. Obnoxious? No. Then what? It's a feeling. What kind of feeling? I don't know. It's hard to pin down. There's just something about his... There's no record of any hostage. It's more about his type. Did you just say type? I mean... In this office, there are no types. Just people. That's why I need to excuse myself. Absolutely not. As a soon-to-be doctor, you'll be working with all kinds of people. So you'd better get past that type mentality right now. I'll try. Good. Bring in the patient. <laughs> Mr. Hyde. Doctor? Just reviewing your... Anything else I need to give you? Nope. Okay, so... So talk to me. But it's all in the record. In your own words. It's hard to, you know? When did you realize you... Well, I... Did you play with dolls as a child? Uh, no. Did you wear women's clothes? What? That's just weird. Were you more comfortable around girls than boys? Hell no. I still can't talk to him without blushing. So you repressed urges until you were an adult? Actually, I never had any. Less of a gradual awakening and more of an epiphany? Yeah. What's an epiphany? An aha moment. Well, I just had a birthday and I'm- Happy birthday! But we need to stay on track. But that's why I'm here. Let's get back to your urges. I kind of never had them. Never? But I'm ready to start. Start what? The urges. Uh, let's try again. Like I said, I just had my 50th birthday, which officially makes me an- I can't even say it. I can't even hear it. Is that what this is about? A man who- is Desperate for change. But you have no urges. I didn't need them then. I do now. You just can't opt in for urges. You either have them or you don't. Wait for it. Wait. Yep. I just had an urge. Oh, jeez. You're obviously confusing a midlife crisis with... <laughs> it's not a midlife crisis. It's a world crisis. All right, all right, let's just take a step back. There is no going back when you're an old white guy. It's called algitis. What? Old white guy-itis. Algitis for short. Symptoms include a pious predilection to preach family values while voluptuously valuing the family nanny. I'm weak. So weak. Other symptoms include forcing TV manufacturers to only produce black and white TVs and a diluted attempt to return to the 50s. Yes, it does sound like algitis, but unfortunately, I cannot approve your sex change. Then I, I can't go on. Just calm down. I would if you'd approve my sex change. You're not thinking it through. What's to think about? I'm stuck as an old white guy. You don't have to rub it in. Rebecca. Would you mind checking on our next patient? But I thought you wanted me to... That's okay. I can take it from here. Sure, shuffle me off. No sense wasting time on a lost cause, right? Amen to that. Swear this never leaves the room. Yeah, I swear. Whatever. What the? Real man Maxi Tan and daily head shave. That's out. Out. Damn it, out, guys. It looks so... Natural. Damn straight. Dealging is Real Man Maxi Tan's fastest growing category. Nice concept, but no way i pass for anything other than Lily White. <laughs> Who's... Oh, you're just fucking with me. Is that Wonder Bread? With Velveeta cheese and Miracle Whip. Only a white guy eats. Squash? You actually play? When I'm not collecting stamps. Jeez, you're even whiter than me. You bounce a flashlight on my cranium, you can send Morse code to Mars. That means I could finally be free at last, free at last. Great God Almighty, you can be free at last. Thank you, Doctor. All right. Don't worry, you won't have to hate me much longer. What just happened? Never mind. <laughs> Next patient's here. My tongue needs to be amputated. Malignant? Only when I form words. How's that? Huh?